on tap on the wings of Armageddon. Hi, I'm James Knott and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today's review was inspired by a review from Beer Geek Nation. Thank you Chris Steltz for the motivation. It's on the wings of Armageddon from DC Brow Brewing in Washington, DC. The brewery was founded by Brandon Skull and Jeff Hancock in 2009 and is the first brewery inside DC since 1956. This beer is an Imperial IPA that comes in at 9.2% ABV and is currently a limited release that they plan to brew quarterly. This beer is very fresh. It was canned on March 15, 2013, and we are reviewing it 10 days later on March 25th. Always drink your IPAs as fresh as possible. Wings of Armageddon was brewed as a tribute to the Mayan end of the world on December 21, 2012. It is brewed with only one hop, Falconer's Flight. They also use pale malt, carapils, and malted wheat. The packaging says enjoy it out of a glass or straight from the can. My vote is to pour it into a snifter, tulip glass, or oversized wine glass if you have one available to you. Ryan, tell me about the flavors in this beer. <laughs> um, the flavors, you get a, uh, just a massive dose of, of hop flavor. Um, the As far as the, the malt, I'm only getting kind of just enough to kind of wrap the beer together, um, but it's it's really the hops that, that stand out for me. Um, just kind of a floral, citrusy, um, deliciousness. Uh, Corey, do you, would you guess this is a lower alcohol beer? This is definitely a higher alcohol beer. It's a sipper. A sipper. Something you want to take your time with. Yeah. Um, you know, something you could sit down with a gr good group of friends, talk about beer, or talk about anything in particular, but just sip on. Take yeah. your time. Now, for those of you at home, Corey Knight is a uh, longtime beer enthusiast, first-time reviewer. He's also on the Mountain Bike Race team that I'm going to be on this season. Go Combo. Uh, Scott, when, how would you describe the hop profile to s the people at home? Because that's something... really what's sticking out here. Like, I mean, let's face it, this, this beer is all about the hops. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's great. It's an interesting beer. I mean, as far as the nose, it's floral and it's grapefruity, so it has a lot of citrus. But the flavor, I mean, it hits you, but it stops. So it's not like a beer that we've all had, which is Arrogant Master, which carries forward. This beer seems to just kind of stop, and but the flavor is great. I mean, it, it reminds me, I mean, it, it's like a Pliny. I mean, it's something of a Pliny, like Pliny the Younger, maybe? I don't know. It's an awesome beer, though. Ryan, tell us your rating. Big picture on this one. Um, I'm at a nine on this one. Um, big picture is, if you love hops, get a hold of this beer, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it just hit me in the right spot. Um, we were talking about this before, like mm -hmm. the bitterness. Is it just bitterness or is there hop flavor? I'm getting, I'm getting the bitterness, I'm getting the hop flavor, I'm getting the hop aroma. It's kind of hitting the, the trifecta. Is it kind of a tangy hop though? You know what I mean? It's, it's different yeah. than just a hard hitting hop. It actually has kind of a, a flavor that kind of changes. I don't know, there's something. It's it definitely it's lingers. It's tart, it's yeah. good. It's, it's, it's tart. Yeah. It, yeah, it's. I mean, it's the. It's a hop that's gonna kind of love you strong, but but uh, gentle as opposed to just slamming you in the face. And you know, it, it's it's a hop that just kind of wow. carries through. Um, for I mean, for me, it's hitting. It's hitting all three aspects of the hops um, and doing it well on all of those. And then the the finish, it just kind of it just kind of trails off and just kind of goes away and leaves your palate ready for more of it. Um, like you're saying, it's a sipper. Each sip you go back, each sip you get that, that hop character. So um, I'd say for this for this beer, a nine for me. Um, like I said, anyone who's who's into hoppy beers should give this one a give this one a go. Okay, Corey, what is your rating and should someone at home try and find this beer? I would definitely recommend this beer, but I'm gonna give it a solid seven. Seven, okay. And the only reason, um, I think it's a good beer, something you definitely want to take your time with, but it's a little more bitter than I like my beers. I like a little more malty taste, something you know, where the malt is a little more forward than okay. this beer is. It's definitely a hop forward beer, lots of hops, lots of strong hops. You know, mm -hmm. If you like the hops, definitely seek this beer out. Okay, that's a good way to put it. Scott, now Scott just had a baby. Uh, his name is Samuel. 
And he's cute as a button, unlike Scott. Zing. Uh, congratulations, Scott. Thanks. When you think about Samuel, does it make you want to drink this beer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I wanted to name my son Oliver, but it was taken. Uh, <clears throat> no, I like this beer. I think uh, to hit on a couple of things both of these guys said, I think it does have both the, I mean, it, I personally think that it has a perfectly balanced malt and hop character and flavor. I mean, it has, I think it has really great malt. I mean, look, it's got good lacing. Uh, I don't know, I, I mean, this beer itself, I don't know how to describe it other than perfect. I give it a 10, wow. personally. I think it's wow. awesome. Okay, 10 personally, but what about on the show? And on the show. <laughs> okay. When I say personally, I mean on... Well, you know, we don't have a lot of 10s around here. This is a pretty this highly is rated I beer. I would hunt this I'm beer I'm going to have now. to do the mathematics for... This is a very newly canned beer. Canned. From DC Brow. Wow. DC's first brewery in many decades. Uh, on the wings of Armageddon. I am digging the can. It was a tribute to the Mayan uh, end of the world, and since we're still here, they put it in a can. This is, can is only 10 days old, and this is the first canning that they've done of this beer, so that's how new it is. So Ryan, mm -hmm. what do you think? I think it's an awesome beer from a brewery that I really know nothing about um, and a beer that I know nothing about, but after having had it, I, awesome. If I, I mean, if I'm in DC or, you know, wherever they're distributing and they've, you know, got a, another batch out, um, if I can find it fresh and I'm picking some up, so. Corey? You know, I'm digging canned beer. It seemed to make a new, you know, appearance. And there's a lot of really good canned beers out there. Um, this can is very nice. I can even see this on a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. On your t-shirt. Yeah, on my t-shirt. There you go. Someday. Supporting the bells. Um, <laughs> the beer is good. It's definitely something you want to take your time with. It's a little more bitter than I personally like, but it's definitely a good beer. Scott? Again, I, I stand by my rating. I think it's a 10. I think it's an awesome beer. It just holds great character. I mean, even through the end of the beer, I mean, it still has great lacing. Uh, still, the flavor and the smell, same. I mean, a lot of beers, when they warm up a little bit, they change. I think this one really is great. I mean, it's still hot forward. Still very uh, grapefruity, citrusy. Yeah, this is definitely not a gateway beer. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is a gateway beer when you go from a... You know, half marathon to a full. I mean, it's something where you've already gotten there, and you, you really like hop, but you, you know, you haven't really gotten there. This, this is the beer to jump to the next level. I think it's an awesome beer. Uh, the interesting thing about this beer is it is a, they use a single hop pellet for the the hopping of this beer, but it's called Falconer's Flight. Okay. And the thing about Falconer's Flight is it's a proprietary. Uh, pellet from Hop Union, but it's made up of a blend of like Citra and uh, I forget the other ones, but many other like ones that you'd be familiar with for that kind of typical sort yeah. of American the, IPA style. There, There's the Falconer's Flight and then there's also a, a Falconer's Flight 7 Seas and they're, they're both hop blends. Um, and my understanding is that they, the blends were developed to kind of extend um, and to, to add into the market um, uh, a hop variety or, or blend, variety blend um, that could be used to, to kind of hit some of those same notes, the, the big citrus, the big um, flavor and aroma hops that are becoming much more popular in craft beer. Um, so by developing a blend that is pulling from a number of different hops, they're able to create something that can kind of extend, extend that market um, a lot of these things, I mean, the breweries have hop contracts that they, they kind of try to predict what they think they're going to use and, and buy that ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, and it, it's all kind of, and then it fluctuates based on agricultural output and, and yield and all that sort of thing. So the, the blend is just kind of a, a way of extending that and, and kind of having something else on the market that can be used in, for the same sort of flavor and aroma. Um, that we're getting in this very wonderful beer. 
And that's the kind of knowledge you could have not have gotten out of the Better Beer Authority three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> not without Ryan. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> what beer are we doing? On the Wings of Armageddon gets an 8.7, well above the show's average score. So this is a very highly rated beer. You should go out, if you can get it, and try it. If you're in the Washington, D.C. area, track this beer down. I'm James Knott. This is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.